Hey everybody, this is Fist25 coming back at you. This is the second time I'm recording this, so I hope I'm getting it right this time. As you can see on your screen, we are going to go over more weapons in Star Citizen. This time we're going to review cannons. We're going to look at laser cannons, ballistic cannons, and distortion cannons. And that stuff, that content, is coming at you right now. All right, everybody, so thank you for tuning in. Before I get started, um, and I'm going to do this at the end of the video, too, if you guys wouldn't mind going down, hitting that subscribe button for me, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you are a fan of the content by the end of the show, and I've proven my worth to you, um, and you still haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe, um, click that notification bell, uh, like the video, comment down below. I'd love to talk to you guys about this stuff. I'm not perfect. I get some of this stuff wrong sometimes, but this is uh, the facts that I present here are based on uh, both Urkel.games um, and the game files for the data and Star Citizen Tools uh, helped out with uh, some of the text and some of the pictures. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in to laser cannons we're going to start with size ones work our way up to size fives and then we're going to do the same thing with ballistics and then we're going to go through the three different distortion cannons and at the end i'm going to talk about you know my recommendations my takeaways my favorite weapons etc etc i will be uh looking at my notes as i go through because there are so many differences between these cannons uh between uh, size one and twos are fairly similar, but size three changes things for some cannons, and then fours and fives, they, they mix up, they change, so uh, bear with me here. I do have to go through my extensive notes on this as, as we're doing this, but I'll do the best I can. And let's hop in with the first laser cannon. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, this is the Max Ox NN13 laser cannon. It's one of two uh, uh, laser cannons. There's a size one and a size two, and then Max Ox doesn't make any more laser cannons. This is technically a neutron cannon, but it's in the laser cannon category. The Max Ox NN13 neutron cannon offers a massive energy payload at the expense of speed and energy efficiency. One could argue the virtues of speed, rate of fire, and distance over damage, but the argument becomes irrelevant if you only need to hit them once. Yeah, I wish, right? Uh... So this size one laser cannon is DPS of 225, alpha damage of 155. It is the only laser cannon that has a DPS drop over a distance. So that I'll talk about that with this one. The uh, DPS drop start distance is at 600 meters. It drops at 0.147 DPS per meter uh, to a minimum damage of 166 at 1,000 meters. Its fire rate is 87 rounds per minute, range 8, 1188 meters, speed 880 meters a second. Uh, I am not going to talk about the overpower or the overclock stuff or the pellets per shot, spread max, overclock performance, all that stuff. I don't really do overclocking, and these aren't scattergun, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, I will talk about uh, the power to EM and IR because that deals with stealth, but I'm not going to worry about the distortion damage or the recovery times or the health of this unit. It's just not going to be part of it um but this guy does have 1.6 power to em and five to the ir temperature you can pick it up at her l2 or port all star from anywhere between 7450 to 10949 with that being said looking at my low at my notes uh i i i organize the presentation here by dps so as we hit a new size the first one up is the highest dps and this is no exception. The NN13 uh, has the best DPS out of all the size one laser cannons by 75, which is pretty huge when you consider it's a size one. Uh, that's actually really good. Um, it has the best alpha damage by 50. So that's that's another significant uh, uh, stat for this weapon. Uh, the reason it has that DPS is because it's 87 rounds per minute fire rate. It's a good fire rate. It's not the best fire rate, but it's pretty darn good. Um, oh, geez. Now I'm looking at my notes and it says the NN13 has the worst fire rate along with the M3A. So my bad. This has the worst fire rate, but that's how you get that high DPS. It's because the alpha damage is so high. 
Uh, as far as range, the NN13 has the worst range out of all the size ones. However, all the ranges are really, really close. Um, uh, except for the Light Strike one. That one's a little different. Um, it has the worst speed uh, out of all the size ones, although they are, all are extremely close at size one. Uh, we already talked about the DPS drop. Uh, this guy has, uh, looks like the worst overall stealth <laughs> which is no surprise does the most damage you typically has the worst stealth and then uh it also has the highest cost out of all the size ones so let's move on to the next one the asperia light strike one laser cannon uh the Light Strike 1 takes the attack to distant targets by delivering focused high damage blasts that will make any aggressor think twice before coming too close. Capable of providing powerful overwatch options during troop deployments or engaging targets in outer space, it's easy to see why the Light Strike 1 was feared by UPE forces during the first Tavarum War. So this is a Tavarum weapon that uh, Asperia has just basically recreated. It has a DPS of 157, alpha damage of 95, Fire rate of 99 rounds per minute. A range of 2384, which is pretty darn good. Speed of 935. A power to EM of 0 0.57. Temperature to IR of 4.8. Um, and it, it costs at New Babbage. You can pick this up for 6,360 Alpha UEC. So for the Light Strike uh, in size 1, uh, as far as damage goes, it does have the worst... Uh, alpha damage out of any of the size one weapons but it doesn't have the worst dps so uh it does have the best fire rate at 99 rounds per minute which is probably why that dps is up a little bit more um the light strike does have the best overall stealth for well it's a tie with the uh omniski m3a but overall the light strike has the best overall stealth between the em and the ir uh, it has the lowest em and this will this will stay constant throughout all the laser cannons here. Um, the best range uh, is the light strike uh, by almost a kilometer. <laughs> so the light strike is very stealthy. Doesn't have the best DPS, but it does have the best range. So that's something to take into account uh, if you are interested in the light strike. Let's move on to the next one, which is the Kroneg FL-11 laser cannon. Deliver massive damage from distance with Kroneg's FL line of laser cannons. The FL-11 might shoot slow, but provides considerable firepower for a size 1 weapon. It has a DPS of 155, alpha damage of 100, fire rate of 93. A range of 1,361 meters, speed of 986 meters a second. EM draw, EM power draw, or I'm sorry, EM power. Power to EM is 2.66 and temperature to IR 3.9. You pick it up at PO or Area 18 for 5200 Alpha UEC. So the FL11, I think this one is also kind of a uh, middle of the road type of weapon. It's, it's not necessarily the best or the worst out of anything. Uh, as I go to my notes, I don't see a whole lot. It does have uh, the worst EM stealth. Um, that's pretty high, especially for a size one weapon. Um, so it's not stealthy. Uh, and other than that, it's uh, it does have a pretty low cost, uh, along with the M4A. Middle of the road, laser cannon. Uh, it's got a really cool animation. But yeah, that's about it for the FL-11. Moving on to the bearing M3A laser cannon. The M3A is bearing's entry-level laser auto cannon, the auto cannon configuration offers modest damage per projectile and a fairly low rate of fire. As the most basic offering in Bering's weapons lineup, it features low power consumption, but poor power efficiency. It makes up ground uh, for its shortcomings by being, a ch being cheap, a feature many pilots are looking for when outfitting their ships on a budget. It is actually tied for the lowest cost, uh, 5300 Alpha UEC at her L4, her L2, Area 18 and New Babbage, it goes for 5520. Got a DPS of 152, uh, alpha damage of 105, fire rate of 87 rounds per minute, range of 1400 meters, speed of 1000, power to EM is 1, temperature to IR is 4.2. So 
looking at the M3 again, uh, I don't have a lot in my notes. It's It does have, uh, it is tied for the worst fire rate with the NN13. Um, so not a great fire rate and not real high alpha damage, which, which lowers its DPS, but it's not the worst DPS that we have uh, for the size ones. Um, other things, okay, other than that, uh, as far as stealth goes, it is tied with the light strike and the Omniski uh, for overall best stealth, but it's just edged out by the light strike. So it's fairly stealthy, fairly low cost, but it, other than that, it's a middle of the road uh, laser cannon. The next weapon is the Amit and Reese Company Omniski 3. I always mess up that word. I want to say uh, Omniski, but it's Omniski. The M3A is... <laughs> uh, so I messed up the slide there. Let me read the correct uh, entry there. The Omniski 3 is the base model of ANR's line of laser autocannons for small ships and has a comparable rate of fire, damage output, and range to other weapons in its size class. It uses mid-grade components in its design, offering a marked increase in power efficiency over some of its less expensive competitors. Uh, which I, I would agree with. I would say that's true. Um... It does have the worst DPS out of any of the size ones. Uh, not by much, but it is the worst. Um, same with the size two for it as well. Uh, it doesn't have the worst alpha damage, but it does have the worst DPS. Um, what else do I have on my notes here on the uh, Miski? It is tied for best overall stealth with the M3A and the Light Strike just being edged out by the Light Strike. Uh, and it is, yeah, that's about it. Other than that, it's just kind of middle of the road type of weapon. And, uh, that's how I would treat it. And it's fairly low cost. So yeah, give it a shot. If you, if you like, uh, Ammon and Rieska. Our next weapon, we move into the size two arena for the laser auto cannons, starting with the last of the Max Ox, the NN14 laser auto cannon. Building on the technology of the NM13, the Max Ox NM14 offers a significant increase in power for the Neutron Autocannon to give each shot a devastating punch. With that increased damage, however, comes a heavier draw on your power plant. DPS is 384, Alpha is 307, the fire rate is 75, range is 1687, speed 907, power to EM 2.28, temperature to IR 7.2. Those are actually really high. And this guy does have a DPS drop. Uh, 600 meters is when it starts. It drops DPS at 0.25 per meter with a minimum DPS of 284 at 1,000 meters. You can pick it up at HRL2, HRL3 for 14,150 or at PO for 20,797. So uh, once again, this guy does have the best DPS uh, and that's because of its, its high alpha damage. Um, so ju just uh, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, it does have the worst fire rate which is you know holds it back a little bit um as far as range goes it's it's okay uh i don't have any notes about that it probably has a a decent range there um it does have the worst ir um and it, so it has the worst overall stealth and it is the highest cost um another note about the nn 13 and 14 they are extremely loud when you for, for some reason, they're just very loud when they fire. Uh, so if you have a cannon that's real close to your cockpit, you're definitely going to hear it because it fires fairly slow and it's like, blue, blue. I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty noticeably loud, louder than it needs to be. Moving on to the next one is the Asperia Light Strike 3 laser cannon. I'm not going to read the text because it's, it's just a regurgitation of the other one with Light Strike 2 in there. It's got a DPS of 245, alpha damage of 165, a fire rate of 89, range of 2384, which is still amazingly good, speed of 935 meters a second, power to EM 0.57, temperature to IR 4.8. You can pick it up at New Babbage for 12,720. So again, the uh, the Light Strike 2 is the best overall stealth for EM and IR added together. I think it's not the best IR, but it's the best EM for sure added together. It's overall best stealth. Um, the Light Strike has the highest range, uh, really good range on that, and it also has the best rate of fire um, for a size two. Uh, the size one and size two are all pretty much stat wise, they kind of 
they kind of roll together a little bit. So um, if you want a stealthy gun that shoots at range, that's a size two, uh, that's fairly inexpensive, then uh, go ahead and pick this guy up at New Babbage. The next size two weapon is the Kronag FL-22 laser cannon. Um, deliver massive damage from a distance with Kronag's FL line of laser cannons. The size, the two size two FL-22 shines at medium and long range just thanks to the design that minimizes damage fall off. DPS of 242, alpha damage of 173, fire rate of 84, range of 2205, pretty good range. Speed of 1086, the uh, power to EM 2.66, temperature to IR 3.9. You can pick it up at New Babbage, Her L3, Her L5, and Crew L5 for 9550 Alpha UBC. So as I look at the FL22 again, it's, it's kind of middle of the road type of stuff. Uh, it's, it's, everything is kind of, it's fairly low cost. Uh, but other than that, it has, it looks like it has the best IR stealth. So if you're concerned about heat temperature, this is probably the laser cannon for you. Um, but other than that, it's it's just right in the middle of the road for everything else. DPS, off damage, all that stuff. Let's move on to the next weapon. The bearing M4A laser cannon. It's uh, bearing second tier laser auto cannon. It's bigger size. Means more power consumption in exchange for packing a bigger punch. Fire rate and power efficiency are comparable to the M3A model. It is DPS of 229. Alpha damage of 183. Fire rate of 75. Range of 2060. Pretty good range. Speed of 1,000, power to EM 1.43, <coughs> excuse me, and temperature out to IR, ooh, temperature to IR at 4.2. You can pick it up for 99.50 Alpha UEC at Hurl 5, Hurl 3, or an Area 18 or New Mavic Center Mass for 10,363 Alpha UEC. Uh, the M4A, looking at my notes here, I don't have a whole lot about it. Again, this is... A very uh, middle of the road. It looks like it does have the. May, it has really good speed uh, for a laser auto cannon. Um, that's not as big of a deal anymore now that we have uh, all, all of our shots when we lock our our gimbals. They all go straight ahead, so it's not as big of a deal as it used to be. Uh, so it, it looks like it's as far as stealth goes, you know, the light strike is the best, but the, the M4A is also pretty darn good as far as stealth goes, and, it, and it's at a fairly low cost as well. Uh, some of this will change as we get into higher uh, mounts and higher tiers of weapons. Um, the bearing M series will become a much better weapon. Moving on to the Eminem Reese Omniski 6. The mid-sized laser auto cannon from ANR it boasts increased damage and range and power consumption over its smaller brother, the Omniski 3, and utilizes many of the same components, resulting in middle-of-the-road power efficiency. It's got a DPS 225, alpha damage of 173, fire rate of 78, range of 2002, speed of 986, power to EM 1.43, temperature to IR of 6, so a little bit high for IR. Uh, you can pick it up for 10,600 at Crew L5 or Her L2. Or 11,040 at Area 18 and New Babbage. Uh, so, again, uh, this doesn't have great DPS. Um, uh, it, size 1 and Size 2, it's it's pretty similar. Um, it's obviously better than the Size 1, but it's it's still not great on, on DPS. Uh, oh, my dog is driving me crazy with my allergies, so I apologize for that. Um, it's stealth is, is actually pretty good because the EM power is so low, but it's, it's not anywhere near a light strike in a size two. Um, so other than that, it's, it's, it's a very average weapon. I would say it's on the lower side of the average. So kind of below average. Um, I just, I don't like these laser cannons. Maybe you do. And if you do awesome, it has decent range. It has okay damage. Um, the fire rate is not that great but it's okay. Uh, stealth is okay. So I'd say eh, average, average to below average. Now we get into the size three cannons. So the in and series are gone. Let's open up with the Kronag FL 33 laser cannon. Guys, this one's on the top. So now we're in the FL series as the highest DPS at a size three. 
Not as strange. It's because the alpha damage is so high. Deliver massive damage from a distance with Chronix FL line of laser cannons. Embodying Chronix practical design philosophy, the FL-33 remains one of the most reliable and destructive size 3 laser cannons currently available. And that's true. It has the highest DPS out of 375, alpha damage at 300, fire rate of 75, which is, that's all pretty d darn decent. Good alpha. Range of 3465, that's actually a really high range. Um, speed of 1100, power to EM 2.66, temperature to IR 3.9, decent stealth cap capability too. You pick it up at PO, her L4, or her, uh, her L5 for 19,200 alpha UEC. So, uh, size 3, obviously, the FL series has the best DPS. Um, what else does it have at size 3? Everything, everything else, as far as size 3 goes, uh, it, it's pretty average across the board. Um, except it does have the highest uh, DPS. Not the highest alpha, but the highest DPS. So, a good choice. Okay, coming in second for DPS is the Bering M5A laser cannon. When energy auto cannons are designed, Bering's M5A provides a standard to which we are measured against, owing to its long range of engagement and low damage fallout. Its size 3 uh, weapon is 345 DPS alpha of 318, uh, higher than the, the FL series, but a lower fire rate of 65, so that's what's holding back its DPS. Range of 3180, really good range. Speed of 1000. Uh, power to EM 1.85. Temperature to IR 4.2. Also pretty good as far as stealth goes. Uh, you can pick it up for 19,300 at Crew L5 and Her L5 or at Area 18 New Mavic Center Mass for 20,100. So the M5A, um, I would say this is all around a really good weapon. I don't think it's the best size 3 laser cannon. Um, but if you want something that's that's like does a lot of damage but is pretty darn stealthy and actually it's not that cheap but it, it's not that expensive either i would say the m5a is a good choice i think it comes stock on a lot of ships and that's okay because there's no need to upgrade unless you want to go more stealthy or you really want to get more damage and, and then you obviously got to wait till you can afford it so that's my take on that Next up is my favorite size 3 laser auto cannon, the Kruger Intergalactic Quarreler Laser Cannon. Crafted with precision, manufactured parts forged to extremely tight tolerances, designed for top of class heat management, and assembled to exceed all industry standards. The Quarreler Laser Auto Cannon was created by Kruger Intergalactic for true defensive dependability. So you can see it uh, DPS is 340 and Alpha is 324, meaning it has the highest alpha damage. Out of any of the cannons, its fire rate is 63, which is uh, lower than the last two, which is what's holding back its DPS. But its alpha damage is fairly high, so you know when it hits, it does it does good damage. Uh, range is 3812 uh, as far as uh, in meters, and that's actually the best range of a size three cannon, uh, laser cannon here, and that's phenomenal range for a size three. Speed is 1105. Uh, that's that's a the best uh, in speed, but they're all ver really close to each other in speed at size 3. The power to EM 1.85, temperature to IR 7.8. That is not good. That is actually the worst stealth uh, for size 3. So if you're looking for stealth and size 3 laser auto cannons, uh, do not look at the Quarreler. But if you're looking for probably best overall damage, uh, highest alpha, um, this is the gun you're looking for. Plus, it has a really cool aesthetic and, and the bead looks good and it's. I like it. It had low fire rate, but the way I do cannons is I, I typically fire and then I wait a second or so and then I fire again. So I like them all lined up at once. You can pick this bad boy up at Hurrell 2, Hurrell 5 for 24,250, or an Area 18 New Babic Center Mass for 26,468. And let's move on to our next weapon the Asperia Light Strike 3 Laser Cannon. This uh, it's the same text as before. Uh, DPS is 336, Alpha is 240, Fire Rate is 84, Range is 2384, which is a shame because it's the best stealth with the lowest range and some of the lowest damage uh, for a uh, laser cannon. 
Uh, it's power to EM is 0.57, temperature to IR 4.8. You can pick it up at New Mavericks for 29,100. So it's on the a little bit of the expensive side as well. Uh, but it's not the worst DPS. <laughs> it is uh, the worst alpha damage, uh, just to let you know that. It has has actually a pretty good darn pretty darn good fire rate, but uh, the alpha damage keeps that DPS a little bit lower than I would say most people want. Uh, it also has the worst range out of any of the size threes, but it has the best stealth, as we mentioned earlier. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it as, as far as the light strike three goes. And let's move on to what I think is the last size three. This is the Amadamris um, Omnits Omniski nine laser cannon. Uh, it's a size three version of Amadam Reese's popular laser auto cannon. The weapon of the weapon's low rate of fire is offset by its effective range, which is actually good, which allows it to deliver a powerful shot from afar. It does 227 DPS, which is the worst of the size three category. It does 200 alpha damage, which uh, is not the worst, but it's it's pretty bad. Uh, and it has a fire rate of 68, which is I would say just average. Range of 3106, definitely above average, uh, really high range. Not as good as a Quarreler, but it's really good. Speed of 986, power to EM 1.85, temperature to IR 7.8, so it's not stealthy at all. Um, it, it's not super, you know, highlight bright, but the IR is pretty high. You can pick this guy up at Her L5 and Crew L5 for 18,650, or an Area 18 New Babbage Center Mass for 19,424. Moving on to the next gun. We're into size fours, guys. The Bering M6A Laser Auto Cannon is a versatile, high-velocity energy auto cannon designed to provide to designed to provide to keep your enemy at range without sacrificing your stopping power. DPS of 518 and alpha damage of 555. We're in the 500s, guys. Fire rate of 56. RPM range of 3780 meters. Speed of 1000 meters a second. Power to EM 2.28. Temperature to IR 4.2. Uh, that's pretty good. Not anything crazy there. Pick it up at Her L2, Crew L5 for $39,050, an Area 18 New Mavic Service Mass for $40,670. So the prices are definitely getting up there. Now here's the deal. This is the first one in the size 4 line, which means it has the highest DPS. As I told you, as we go up, the Bering M, M series is going to be uh, pretty beefy. Uh, surprisingly, for size 5, it doesn't have it. But for size 4, it's the best DPS and it has the best alpha damage for a size 4 as well. Uh, as far as range goes, it does have the best range for a size 4. And uh, I think that's about it as far as that goes. Uh, it's not the best in stealth, but it's not horrible either. So that is the bearing M6A. Let's look at the Omniski 12 laser auto cannon. It does 510 DPS at 519 alpha damage, which is not far behind, but uh, fire rate is 59 RPM. The range is 3402. The speed is 986. Power to EM 2.28. Temperature to IR 9.6. So really high. It is not stealthy. You can pick this guy up at Hurl 4, Hurl 5, 41,950, which means it's expensive. Area 18, New Mavic Center Mass, 43,690. Eminem Reese's dependable line of laser auto cannons continues with the Omniski 12. Though slow firing, of, yeah, really slow firing, 59 RPM. The size 4 laser is able to efficiently deliver devastating laser beams, uh, laser beam blasts from a considerable range. That is that is actually a pretty good range, too. Uh, it does have the, uh, looks like the, it doesn't have the worst DPS, but it does have the worst. Um, well, no, it doesn't have the worst alpha damage either. What is it? The worst? I don't think it's the worst of necessarily anything, except for maybe the the stealth. Uh, it's the worst in stealth. So there you go. This is the middle middle of the road here for uh, size force, but bad in stealth. All right, let's talk about the light strike four size four. Uh, and DPS 408, which is the lowest of the size force, uh, 302 alpha damage, which is also the worst of the size force, a fire rate of 81. Um, yeah, not, I mean, pretty high fire rate, but uh, it's held back by that alpha damage because uh, we're in the 500s on the other ones, and this guy's in the threes and fours. 
Range of 2,384, so it's the lowest range out of any of the size 4s. Speed of 935, power to EM.57, temperature to IR 4.8. Pick this up at New Babbage for 42,320. So this is basically your stealth uh, laser cannon at a size 4. Uh, it's got the worst range, worst DPS, but uh, the best stealth. So pick this up if you're looking to be stealthy. All right, moving on to size 5s. Hey, look at this. The Light Strike 5 laser cannon. At size 5, the Light Strike has the best DPS, 844 DPS. And that's because the alpha damage is pumped up to 666 with a fire rate of 76. So high fire rate, high alpha damage, high DPS. This is how it works. Range of 2384, so still a bad range. The worst range out of any of the size 5, speed of 935. Power to EM 0.57, temperature to IR 4.8. Uh, you can buy it at New Mavish for 60380 Pretty expensive. Light Strike 5 takes the attack to the... Oh yeah, I've already read that stuff before. So this guy is the most damaged at size 5. And it's the stealthiest at size 5. So definitely something to think about um, size 5 wise. Uh, uh, if you're looking at an Asperia Prowler, which you can put two size 5s on. Hey, that's stealth plus high damage, um, and a decent fire rate. So, let's strike five, everybody. Um, now, moving on to the Bering M7A at size five to 770 DPS with really high alpha damage at 963. It's incredibly high. What holds it back is the low fire rate of 48 RPM. It has a range of 5,990 meters. That's really far. Uh, speed of 1141. Power to EM 2.71, temperature to IR 4.2. So not horrible in stealth either, but not as good as a light strike. You can pick it up at Port Olisar or Hurl 2 for 76,700 or Area 18 New Mavic Center Mass for 79,881. The Bering M7A laser cannon is a versatile long distance energy auto cannon. Uh, it's the latest in the Bering M series. It's designed to act as a high impact deterrent, effective at medium to long range. The new AC8 lens system minimizes stopping power. Uh, stopping power loss over distance, making each shot effectively equally effective at longer ranges. Uh, so it is it is a beast. Uh, best alpha damage uh, by far at size five. Uh, also has the best range, um, but it's you know it's as far as stealth goes, it's it's I would say it's average, um, and it's a higher cost. Okay, moving into uh, what I believe is the last size five laser auto cannon. It's the Omniski 15, DPS of 758, half damage of 892, fire rate of 51. So that is the worst DPS. Um, not the worst alpha, but the fire rate is what holds back the DPS. Range of 5,443, so a little bit lower than the bearing. Uh, speed of 1512, uh, power to EM 2.71, temperature to IR a really high 11.4. You pick this up at Area 18, New Mavish, or Hurl 3 for 59,300. Amateur Reese's reputation for making powerful and reliable weapons is embodied by their Omniski line of laser auto cannons. The Omniski 15 is a size 5 version of the weapon that helped defend the Empire for centuries. So, uh, does pretty good damage. Uh, it's lower in cost than the bearing, but it is certainly not stealthy. If you don't care about that and you want to go loud and proud, hey, this may be the cannon for you, although I probably still take the light strike or the bearing over it okay now we've moved into the ballistic cannon realm hope uh, everybody's ready for this one it should be fun uh my the way i did my notes is a little bit different on this guy so let's get into it the first off it is the dead bolt one ballistic auto cannon by asperia spread dread with a dead bolt one ballistic cannon feared for its firepower at short range this notorious Tavarum weapon earned its intimidating reputation during the first Tavarum War as part of the Tavarum fleet's devastating arsenal. Asperia has painstakingly recreated the Deadbolt 1 out of respect to the original weapon of warriors who used it so effectively. It's got the highest DPS of a size 1 ballistic cannon at 159, alpha damage of 105, and a fire rate of 91. A high fire rate is really what gives it the, the high DPS. It's range of 2,384, speed of 935, ammo count of 800. It has a uh, power to EM at 0.57, temperature to IR at point, I'm sorry, at 4.8. And you can pick it up at New Babbage for 6,630 <coughs> alpha UEC. 
So again, we mentioned it has the best DPS. Um, what else does the Deadbolt have? It has a tie with a Tarantula for the best range at a size 1. That is a pretty far range. 2300 for a size 1. Not too shabby. Um, as far as physical damage goes, uh, all the size 1s are really close, so I didn't even calculate it for size 1s. So we'll get into that when we hit size 2 and up. Um, <coughs> it is not necessarily super stealthy. Uh, not not at size one. At size two, it's a little bit better. Um, and there you go. So, highest DPS, the demo one. The next uh, ballistic auto cannon is the Nightbridge Arms Nine Series Longsword Ballistic Cannon. So these uh, size one, two, and three cannons are I call them the Sword Series. You have the Longsword, the Great Sword, and the Broadsword. This entry level auto cannon of the Nightbridge Arms. Sword line, the 9 series long sword fires a ballistic round designed for use against a variety of armored hostiles while allowing pilots to keep a healthy distance from targets. DPS of 154, alpha damage of 94, fire rate of 98, pretty high fire rate. The alpha is what keeps it down a little bit. Range of 1161, speed of 907, power to EM 0.4, temperature to IR 3.4. Pick it up at Hurl 3 for 6250 or New Babbage for 7134. Let's take a look at what the Sword series does here. Um, at size one, um, it has the worst alpha damage at size one, which is pretty low, right? 94 is pretty low even for a size one weapon. But it does have the highest fire rate, which is actually what keeps that DPS up there a little bit. It's not the worst DPS, but um, it's not it's not super great either. Uh, it also has the worst range size one and 1161 meters um, it has the worst speed of a slug going at a size one uh let's see it has the best stealth uh for em and ir so overall size one this is the best stealth weapon uh, and it does have the lowest cost as well so if you want a weapon that's very stealthy with not a lot of range but Okay, DPS and a really high fire rate. The long sword is for you. Next up is a Gallinson Tactical Systems Tarantula GT870 Mark I Ballistic Auto Cannon. Fed by Gallinson Tactical's patented Spin Glide Drum Ammunition System, the Tarantula GT870 Mark I can deliver. Okay, <laughs> I messed that up. Can smoothly and accurately deliver a consistent stream of ballistic shells, though it only has a moderate rate of fire. Its trustworthy durability makes it a dependable addition to any fight. A DPS of 144, which is third best. Alpha damage of 108, fire rate of 80 RPM. Range of 2384 meters, speed of 935, power to EM 0.57, which is really good. Temperature to IR of 4.8. You pick it up at Area 18 or New Babbage Center Mass for 11,108 11, alpha UDC. So when we look at the Tarantula here, it does have the best alpha damage at 108 for a size 1. But uh, it's a little, its fire rate's not bad, but it's not, you know, that's what holds back its DPS a little bit here. Um, it is tied with the Deadbolt for the longest range, uh, 2384 meters. That's, that's actually a really good range. Um, it does have the most ammunition at 1200 for size one. Um, what else for the Tarantula at size one? That's about it. So. A good overall weapon. Um, I like the Tarantula series. They seem to do pretty good. Um, moving on to the next one. The Sledge 1 Mass Driver by Klaus and Werner. Take down distant targets with the Sledge 1 Mass Driver Cannon. Klaus and Werner utilize railgun technology to accurately fire high damage ballistic projectiles over long distances. Be sure to make every shot count though as the weapon sacrifices rate of fire for raw devastating damage. It does a DPS of 110, which is like really low, and it's actually the lowest DPS out of all the size ones. Um, but it does have 100 alpha damage and a fire rate of 66, so it's not the worst alpha damage. Um, but it is the worst fire rate, so that's really what's holding back its DPS. Its range of 2372, its uh, meters and speed of 1054 meters a second, ammo count of 240, which is actually really low, uh, but also has a low fire rate. Power to EM.9, temperature to IR is 6, which is actually pretty high. 
Uh, you can pick it up at New Mavericks Area 18 Center Mass for $82.88 or Grim Hex and Crew L5 for $97.50 off of ABC. So the Sledge. The, the Mass Driver series is kind of a throwback to Wing Commander uh, where, where there was a bunch of Mass Driver cannons out there. Uh, so again, worse DPS, um, worse rate of fire. Uh, what, what, I'm trying to find something good. It has the best speed. <laughs> It actually has pretty darn good range. It's not the best range, but it's a good range. Uh, it has the best speed for for uh, a bullet going out, but it has the worst ammo, um, and that kind of goes with the worst uh, fire rate as well, right? So, uh, size one, it has the worst stealth <laughs> overall. The worst stealth for a size one, and it has the it says the highest cost. So the highest cost, worst stealth. Not great damage. I would avoid this weapon at size one. Okay, now we're looking at size two. The kind of the beast of the size two here is the Apocalypse Arms Strife Mass Driver Ballistic Cannon. It always pays to be prepared, and if you if misfortune ever does strike, you're going to be glad you have an Apocalypse Arms Strife Mass Driver handy. Its electromagnetic accelerators may be a little power hungry, but it can make up for it with how rapidly it can fire its high velocity projectiles, which is not that fast, guys. Watching it tear through your target is enough to make any uh, make any bad day a little bit better. Just be careful not to let it overheat, <laughs> right? Uh, so DPS is 242, the highest of the size twos. And that's because it has a high alpha damage of 230, um, which is the, also the best of the size twos. A fire rate of 63 RPM, which uh, is the worst for the size twos. Um, that's what's holding it back. Uh, range of 2542, uh, which is actually the worst range of any of the size twos. Uh, speed of 1105, um, power to EM of 0.9, temperature to IR of 6. Um, but one of the best stats for the Strife Mass Driver is the physical damage. Uh, it does to a ship. It's the best in the uh, size two lineup for ballistic cannons. You can pick it up at Port Allison or New Babbage or at Area 18 for uh, 14,326, 350, and 945. So it does the most damage. It's not great at stealth. Uh, it does high physical damage. It's got low ammo and a low. Uh, uh, fire rate as well. Uh, it does have the worst uh, tied with the sledge for ammo. Moving on to the Devil 2 by Asperia. DPS 238, alpha damage 170, fire rate of 84, range of 2384, speed of 935, power to EM 0.57, temperature to IR 4.8. So this is the stealthy weapon. You buy it at New Babbage for 12,690 alpha UVC. So for the Deadbolt 2, uh, looking at, it's not necessarily the best in any category except for uh, stealth, right? which is kind of what it's <clears throat> what it's for. Um, the okay, the uh, most ammo for the Deadbolt, it's actually tied with the Tarantula and the Sword series at 1200. Uh, and that makes sense because it has a decently high fire rate. So it's probably the best fire to ammo ratio of the size twos. Uh, and it has uh, the best overall stealth. So that's something to uh, think about if you're looking for stealth at size two. Next weapon is the Gallinson Tarantula GT870 Mark II. Uh, not going to read the text. It's got the whole spin glide drum thing. EPS 232, Alpha 174. The fire rate is 80. Uh, the range is 2742, speed 962, power to EM 0.57, temperature to IR 4.8, which is pretty good stealth wise. You pick it up at Hurl 5, Hurl 3 for 12,300. Area 18, New Bamic Center Mass for 14,382. Um, so at size 2, the Tarantula is not beast size three it is it is a beast but just just really not at size two size two kind of favors the strife mass driver um but 
I would say, uh, you know, it has it's tied for having the most ammo. Um, other than that, for for EM stealth, it's tied uh, at having the best, uh, as well as IR. So it's a tie with the Deadbolt and the Sword series for best overall stealth. Um, yeah, that's about it. So kind of middle of the road, but good stealth and high ammo count, but a high rate of fire as well. Next weapon is the Sword Series, the 10 Series Greatsword Ballistic Cannon. Average Arms knows that when it comes to battle, having the right weapon can make all the difference. With its powerful ballistic rounds, the versatile size 2 10 Series Greatsword will see you through the conflicts and thanks to its long range and high damage potential. DPS of 231, Alpha of 156, Fire Rate of 89, Range 2431, Speed of 935, Ammo Count of 1200, Power to EM is 0.57. Temperature to IR 4.8, so good on stealth. Corral 3, you can pick it up for 11,050. Area 18 and new batteries for 12,613 up at UBC. And I'm trying to look for the stats here on the Great Sword or the Sword series at size 2. I don't have a lot because the strife is so in there so much. Um, at size 2, it really kind of just overtakes a lot of stuff. Uh, again, most ammo um, it is the worst as far as physical damage goes so if you actually hit the ship it, it'll do the least amount of physical damage but it has a, a decent uh, fire rate so um, you know hit it a bunch of times and it is uh, pretty darn stealthy so uh, yeah next up is the Sledge 2 mass driver ballistic cannon um, these were nerfed a few patches ago so you know, take it as you will the Class of Werner Sledge 2 Mass Driver Cannon is a hard-hitting ballistic weapon capable of firing multiple types of ammunition. This weapon's increased shield penetration capabilities come at a cost, however. Magazine space is limited. Definitely lowest ammo, right? 300. Um, ammunition must be replenished regularly. Because it does not use energy-based projectiles, the KW Mass Driver has reduced power costs and therefore results in a reduced EM signature. Um, yeah, it's low EM, but its IR is still pretty high, so I wouldn't say it's necessarily stealthy. That's got the lowest DPS um, on a size 2. Alpha damage, 195, which is good, but it's a slow fire rate at 66. That goes with the low ammo. It's a decent range at 2,372, speed at 1054, um, power to EM 0.9, temperature to IR 6. Uh, you can pick it up at New Bad Bank's Area 18 Surter Mass for 11,433 or at Grim Hex or Hurl 3 for 13,450. I think I have some notes on this guy. So this is, so you'll get, don't get confused with the Sledge and the Strife. Uh, the Sledge is Class Inverter and the Strife is Apocalypse Arms. Um, they are different. The, uh, the, the Strife is a lot more damage than the Sledge. The sledge, man, just there's so many negative things about it, and it doesn't have a high DPS, but it has a pretty good alpha damage, pretty good. So I don't know, take it as you will. I, I again, I would avoid this weapon um, after the nerf. It's just, it's I don't like it. All right, now let's move into size three ballistic cannons. Hey, guess what's on top, guys? The Beast at size three, the Tarantula GT870 Mark III by Gallinson. Um, it's got a DPS of 392, the highest in the size threes. Alpha damage of 294. That's a lot of alpha. Uh, fire rate of 80. Range of 3119. Good range. Speed 990. Uh, ammo count 720, so decent ammo. Decent fire rate, too. Power to EM is 0.74. Temperature to IR 6.2. You pick it up at Her L5 or Crew L5 for 28,450. Or at uh, Area 18 or New Babbage Center Mass for 33,267. So, of course, I already said it has the best DPS at size 3. Uh, it does not have the best, uh, it might have the best alpha. Uh, that's not my notes, sorry. Um, as far as range, it has the best range at size 3. So, 3119 is the best range at size 3 with the interaction um, as far as ammo it has a it's a tie with the deadbolt for the most ammo but that kind of goes with the fire rate as well 
Um, as far as physical damage on a ship when it hits, it's the best. Of course, that goes with the high alpha damage. Um, and that's about all I have uh, as far as size 3 goes. Uh, it's not necessarily stealthy or unstealthy. It's got a pretty healthy temperature to IR, but it's not It's not going to be super stealthy. Next up is the Deadbolt 3 Ballistic Cannon. DPS of 363, up of 290, fire rate of 75, range of 2384, speed of 935, ammo count 1800, so high ammo uh, and decent rate of fire, so probably best ammo to fire rate. Power to EM 0.57, temperature to IR 4.8. You can pick this up at new damage for 18,240. Uh, let me look for stats on the Deadbolt here at size 3. Uh, there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, it does have the worst speed, um, if that matters to you, the speed of the bullet coming out for a size 3. It is tied with the tarantula for the most ammunition. Um, it does have the best stealth uh, overall for a size three. Um, so again, you know, all the dead bolts are the, the stealth weapons, though. So uh, decent a size three. Uh, next up is the eleven series broadsword ballistic cannon, the last in the sword series. Uh, from Nightbridge Arms this is the size three ballistic auto cannon pilot pilots come to when they want all the. 3Ds, distance, dependability, and damage. EPS of 344, not high, right? Uh, alpha 255, that's pretty good. Fire rate of 81. Range of 2574, speed of 990. Work out of 1800. Uh, pretty high ammo. Right there. Power to EM 0.74. And uh, temperature to IR 6.2. Pick it up for 23,000. Well, sorry, Lusky's closed. Area 18, New Mavic Center Mass for 26,368. Let me look at my notes from the Sword series at uh, size 3. I don't have a whole lot of notes because uh, I have a lot of worst stuff as the Slug series. Uh, so I, th I think it's a pretty average uh, weapon at size 3. Um, definitely is outshadowed by the Tarantula for sure. Um, yeah, I don't have a whole lot of notes. It's, it's the best overall. Oh, no. I was size two, so stealth is okay uh, with it, but it's not it's not that good. Uh, it's not that bad. It's not that good. So I would say average below average. Uh, kind of goes in touch with the rest of the sword line. Let's move on to the last of the size threes, the Klaus Inverter Slag Three Mass Driver. Lowest DPS at a two seventy. Uh, alpha damage two forty five. Fire rate of sixty six. Range of two thousand three hundred seventy two. Speed of 1054. I believe the lowest ammo count of 340. Power to EM is 0.9. Temperature to IR is 6. So it's actually a really good power to EM. You pick it up at Area 18, New Mavic Center Mass 27,625, or Grim Hex Hurl 5 for 32,500. Um, so there's a lot of worsts with the, <laughs> the sledge. Uh, it's got the worst DPS. Uh, it's got the worst alpha damage for size 3. Um, it's got the worst range. Um, it's got... Just, just a lot of worse. It's got the worst ammo, but that goes with the low fire rate too, so it's probably not, not that bad. It's the worst physical damage, so when it hits a ship, it does the least amount of damage. Um, and it's got the worst uh, EM Oh, the EM's not bad. It's got some of the worst uh, stealth at, at size 3. It's definitely the worst stealth at size 3. And uh, it's actually the highest cost as well. So avoid this weapon. High cost, low damage, uh, not a lot of stealth. Just avoid it. Moving on to probably my favorite cannon out of all the cannons, the Bering C-788 Ballistic Cannon. Hurtling high caliber rounds with devastating velocity, bearing C-788 ballistic auto cannon was built to punch through ship armor. Extremely durable with exceptional heat resistance, the Combine can handle a heavy workload that even with the weapon's slower rate of fire makes an ideal choice for taking on larger, less maneuverable targets. It's a beast. It's a monster. When it hits, you know it hits. You can see it. Speaking of Cs, 
The C in C788 stands for Combine. It has the highest DPS out of size 4 cannons with 646 and a massive 731 alpha damage. The fire rate is 53 rounds per minute. The range is 30 to 11. Speed is 950. Ammo count is 480, so pretty low ammo count. Power to EM is 0.74. Temperature to IR 6.2. You pick it up at Area 18. Uh, center mass. Uh, her L3 and crew L5 for 23,500 or a new damage for 24,000. 475. So let me look at my notes for the size for the best DPS is the C788. Um, best alpha damage <laughs> is the C788 by a lot, is my notes. Um, it has the worst uh, fire rate, <laughs> but it does the most damage. Um, it has the best range and it beats out the deadbolt by almost a kilometer in range. That's that's quite a bit when you're um, size 4, the speed is pretty negligible. Uh, it has the worst ammo compared to the Deadbolt, but it does the best physical damage. It beats out the Deadbolt in physical damage by 300. Um, but it is also the worst uh, in stealth for a size 4. So if, if you're going loud and proud, you want to do high damage, have really good range, go with the Combine C788. Next weapon is the Devil 4 by Asperia. Um, TPS 517, Alpha 431, fire rate of 72, range 2,384 meters, speed of 935, power to, e oh, sorry, IMO is 1,800, power to EM 0.57, temperature to IR 4.8, pick it up at new Babbage for 28,200. This is your stealth cannon, again, uh, not that great DPS really not that good alpha damage uh but a decent fire rate an okay range i mean it's 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 not as good as a 788 um speed is negligible high ammo count for the fire rate <clears throat> the stealth this is the stealth gun for a size four so if that's what you're looking for pick it up <clears throat> now we're on to size fives the deadbolt five and Guess what, guys? This is the only cannon, ballistic cannon that's size 5. So the stats are the stats. This is what you get. 796 DPS, alpha damage of 702, fire rate of 68, range of 2384, speed of 935, ammo count of 1800. Power to EM 0.57, temperature to IR 4.8. You pick it up at new average for 69,030 LVC. Instead of this weapon, I would highly recommend that on a size 5 mount, you gimbal two or you gimbal a, a C788 instead of picking up this Deadbolt. Um, the Deadbolt eats a lot of power, and uh, I would just I, I would stick with the combine. It's, it's higher alpha damage. It's it's overall I think it's a better gun even at size four than this one at size five. All right, let's move on to the distortion cannons. Now there's three distortion cannons: size one, two, and three. So every single thing here is the best in its category. <laughs> Joker Engineering Sucker Punch Distortion Cannon. The geniuses over at Joker have done it again. The Sucker Punch Distortion Auto Cannon is a long-range weapon that drains your target's power supply rather than damaging the physical body of the ship, making it ideal for law enforcement and other applications, which is true. However, excuse me. However, you currently cannot. You can't destroy a ship with uh, distortion. And I have yet to be able to disable a smaller ship with distortion as well. I just sit there and hit their shields over and over and over and over again. Um, maybe on bigger ships like a uh, Hammerhead or an 890 or something like that, you could actually target the subcomponents and damage them and break them. And then maybe the ship gets disabled. But smaller ships, I haven't seen it too much. Um so I'm not even going to read the stats because they don't do real damage. Um, but you can pick it up at her L2, her L4, crew L5 for 2600 LVC if you're into the distortion game. Um, another thing to think about with distortions as we look at the size 2 Sucker Punch L. You can put these on your ship. and You can take down someone's shields. And then you can come in with, with your weapons, your other weapons that do damage and just you know, wreck shot. Um, I would not recommend using this necessarily with lasers, uh, but with ballistics, 
So you take down the shields with the distortion, and then you just annihilate the hull with ballistics. So my recommendation. The size two sucker punch L, uh, you pick it up at Hurl 3, Hurl 4, Grim Hex for 4,600-ish off of UBC. Um, they're certainly not super stealthy, but they're not super loud and proud. Um, they do give a fair amount of signature, but they're, they're not too bad. Moving on to the size three, the Sucker Punch XL. Again, uh, you pick it up at New Babbage Hurl 3 Grim Hex for 10,050 or 10,073 Alpha UC. Um, this is just the size three variant of taking down shields with a distortion kit. Okay, guys, so now on to the, uh, <clears throat> the last segment of the video which is my takeaways and recommendations. So I broke all the stuff down by size. size, and We're going to start with laser cannons. Size 1 and 2, best DPS and best alpha damage is the NN series. Uh, also super loud. <laughs> the best range and fire rate is the light strike. The best overall stealth is the light strike. Size 3 for laser cannons, best DPS and alpha damage is the FL or Quarreler cannon. Best range is the Quarreler. Best overall stealth is the light strike. Size 4, best DPS and alpha damage is the M6A. Best range is the M6A. Uh, I, apparently, I put that in there twice. Best overall stealth is the Light Strike. Size 5, best DPS is the Light Strike, surprisingly. Best alpha damage is the M, uh, should be the M7A. Best range is the M7A. Best overall stealth is the Light Strike. On to Ballistic Cannons. Size 1, best DPS is, is the Deadbolt. Best alpha damage is the tarantula. Best range is the devil and the tarantula. Best stealth is the sword series. Imagine that. Better than the uh, the devil. Huh? Size two. Best DPS and alpha damage is the strife. Best range is the devil. Best physical damage is the strife. Best stealth is the devil, tarantula, and sword all tied. Size three. The best DPS and alpha damage is the tarantula. It's a monster at size three. Best range physical damage is also the tarantula. Best stealth is the Denbolt. Size 4, best DPS, alpha, range, and physical damage is the Combine C788. And the best stealth is the Denbolt. Size 5, there's only one cannon, the Denbolt 5. For distortions, you only have one choice for size 1, 2, or 3. Those are the, the Joker distortion cannons. So, best in show. Let's start with laser cannons, size 1. The best damage is the NN series. Best range and stealth, light strike. Size 2, best damage is the in -in series. Best range of stealth, light strike. Size 3, the best damage of range is the quarreler. Uh, the best stealth is, surprise, surprise, the light strike. Uh, size 4, the best damage of range is the M6A. Best stealth is the light strike. And the and size 5 is kind of weird. The best damage of range is the M7A, but the best DPS and stealth is the light strike. Ballistic cannons, best damage, size 1. It's the Tarantula. Stealth and Cost is the storage Sword Series. I picked the Tarantula because overall with Alpha and Fire Rate and all that stuff. Uh, size 2. Best Damage, Strife, Best Range, and Stealth is the Dembo. Size 3. Best Damage and Range would be the Monster Tarantula and Best Stealth the Dembo. Size 4. Best Damage and Range is the C788 and the Best Stealth is the Dembo. And then at Size 5, there's only one cannon the Dembo 5. Now, look, talking about my favorites, my favorite laser cannon out of all the laser cannons that they have is the Quarreler Size 3. Um, I just, I like everything about it. It's kind of a beast. My runner-up to that would be the M6A or the M7A um, for Size 4 and 5s. And I don't like, my worst is the NN series because they're, they're so loud, even though they do quite a bit of damage. For Ballistic Cannons. My favorite, as I've mentioned, is the C-788 from Bearing. It's it's just a monster at size 4. And again, I, for size 5s, I would just gimbal and use the size 4 C-788s. Uh, a runner-up would be, for, for damage, would definitely be the Strife at size 2. And uh, at size 3, the, the Monster Tarantula. And that's about it, guys. That wraps up the Star Citizen weapons video on cannons. 
Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? What are your opinions on this? Maybe you guys have played a lot more canon gameplay than I have. I, I, I have no idea. I would love to find out. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. And hit the notification bell if you want to see any time we post our videos. And while you're at it, if you made it this far, please head on over to fistingjawa.org. The link is in the description. It is our website that Java just put together. It has all of our social medias on there and all our other links on there. Pop by the Discord, hang out with us, uh, get on a live stream with us, be part of our videos. Uh, we would love to engage with the community. And when we hit 250 subscribers, we're going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, the giveaway is going to be for uh, money in game right now. Um, I'm going to contribute 2.5 million off of UBC. And maybe I can convince Jawa to do the same and we can get someone a Caterpillar or something. Who knows? Get whatever you want. The um, way we're going to do that is we're going to do a live stream. Um, we're going to schedule it ahead of time when we hit that number. And uh, whoever is online with us, playing with us, in the same group, in the same Discord, the whole deal, um, we're basically going to have a, a randomized thing on the stream. And it's going to pick a name. And then that person's going to win. So, um, Hopefully we'll actually get some money to be on there and play with us. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys take care of yourself. And as always, good night, Stan.